Greetings Earthlings and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Makeup Monday. I am so obsessed with how this turned out. I didn't really know what I was going to do. I just knew I wanted to play with this palette. This is from the Balm, the mail order palette. And yeah, this is what I came up with. So if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. start this off with some chapstick. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I'm going to take a sponge to apply this. I really love this foundation. It's so beautiful. Is it just me or is anyone else ready for fall? This foundation is so beautiful. It covers everything. I really need to get some headbands. That way when I'm doing my hair, I mean, when I'm doing my makeup, I'm not like fighting with my hair because that's really annoying. Next, I'm gonna take some concealer just right here. Mm, here. It's the skin concealer. And I like using my ring finger. I'm going to take my good old Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent and go under my eyes and just set that. I'm not taking this powder all over the all over the place, all over my face. I'm just putting it um under my eyes here and around my nose, my nostrils. Next, I'm going to take this Makeup Forever Blurring Powder Foundation. I'm just going to use very little just because it does, it gives coverage and I already have the coverage that I want, but I'm just going to use a little up here, down here, next I'm going to take Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is one of my all-time favorite bronzers of all time. It is so, so good. I love it so much. I'm going to take this Urban Decay large, large powder brush. I'm going to start around my forehead here. I'm going to go in the sides. I'm going to do here. Mm -hmm. And then my jawline. Gonna push it down so I don't have a harsh line on the tip of my nose. Okay, so next I want to add some blush. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna take the Balm Willpower. This is their blush quad. I take the shade Dedication. It's like this mauvey pink, it's so pretty. And I am gonna put this right here. This blush is so beautiful. It makes me feel so youthful. It's like a healthy glow. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Now I'm going to highlight, which is also my favorite part. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in Lit. 
I'm just gonna keep it really tight and small. I have a lot of pores right here, so I don't wanna get too close to them. And then I'm gonna take this down my nose and on the tip. All right, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna take my good old Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade six. And I'm just gonna start by brushing my eyebrow hair up. I'm gonna keep pretty close to my natural shape I like to hold it back here too, just so it's not as dark and harsh. Just really soft pressure. And I also like to extend it out further. And then I'm gonna take the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter Brow Gel, which is my favorite stuff ever. Okay, so I just got this palette in the mail the other day in PR. It's the Balm Mail Order, and it has such beautiful, let me show you. I love these tones. We have some like rosy tones and this really cool dark brown. Um, I just love these shades. So I'm going to use this palette today. I'm going to go in with Teddy Bear in a crease brush. And I'm going to take that into my crease. Like so, back and forth. And just blend, 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 blend. This is a really beautiful color for like transitioning and like the crease. Love it. I'm gonna take the um, Milk Makeup Lit Highlight and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna go in with Kneel Down. I'm gonna take this onto my lid. I'm gonna take it all over my lid actually and bring it up into the crease and because we went in with the crease color when you go to lay down your lid color and you blend it upwards it's gonna have something to blend into I love the balms products like all of the products I've never oh shit. what a pretty color Alright, next I'm going to go in with I'll Be Clean on the outer lower lash line. I'm just packing and blending. Taking a clean crease brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. Ooh, I like this. Next, I'm going to take the I'll Be Clean on a really small crease brush. Smudge this on my outer lower lash line. Just out here, so stopping like halfway. And I'm connecting it to this upper brown, so in the outer lid. I'm going to clean off that crease brush and I'm going to pick up Nico Time, which is a really pretty highlight shade. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and drag it to meet in the middle. I'm going to take Teddy Bear in that same crease brush. I just cleaned it off. And I'm going to go between the dark and this highlight that we just applied. Um, You can see if it's charged. It's out dirty, I think. Mom, so can I? Mm-hmm. Love you. Love you. Okay, next I'm going to do my eyeliner. This is from the Balm. This is the Mr. Right 
in the shade See More Love Letters. Oh, I love that. And I'm gonna take this in my waterline. And I'm also going to smudge this on my upper lash line. Wow, I've never used their eyeliners and this is so smooth. It's going on so nice. Wow, I love this eyeliner. Next, I'm going to take the Balm Mad Lash. The packaging on this is so cute. I don't know if you'll be able to. I've never used this mascara. This will be my first time. Let's see how this goes. This brush is really unique. It's kind of like... It's like hard, it's not like a soft, and then it's also kind of curved. It's curved and hard. Ooh, I really do like this mascara. Wow. Wowie wow. Where has this mascara been all my life? Wow. Oh, wow. This mascara is fantastic. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of bottom mascara. Okay, so I think I want to do, I'm going to use one of the Balm Meet Matte Hughes lipsticks. I love this formula. Which one are we going to do, though? All right, we're going to do the shade Loving. It's like nudie pink. Mm. The sun is leaving. This lip color is beautiful. Okay. Cloud is moving, light is coming back. See how weird my hair is? Like all underneath here is like really wavy, like really, really wavy. It's almost curly. And then up here, it's like, what happened? What's, what? And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It helps me so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video.